Hi Ni Han, Chef Tan, making curry. I got coconut oil and thyme, hot chili and uh, cilantro stem. And here I got balsamic curry powder, ginger and garlic, and I got red curry paste and red chili, cinnamon, coriander. And one more, what is that? Cumin. All right. We're gonna give the fresh herb and spices a quick stir like this, until aromatic. Next, I just added this. Crab mint meat with some spices curry. This is from Malaysia, I got it from uh, the grocery store today. Look at that. Almost like samba, lasa. Flavor. Making curry. Versatile. Make your own recipe. Every time I make, I like to try something different. See, this is good. And now, we can add our vegetable. I got carrot, onion, bell pepper, mushroom, okra. Okra is really good to make curry. them a quick stir. Now I want to stir for maybe five to seven minutes. It just cook down the vegetable. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. I'm gonna add in some brown rice. Cook for a couple more minutes. Now I add some fish sauce and turmeric paste. It's like a sour plum paste. And here I got coconut milk. Two can of coconut milk. Mix. Deglaze a little bit at the bottom of the pan. Medium heat, let them cook for like 7 to 10 minutes like this. We want to have extract all the flavor from the curry spices and some of the vegetable. Occasionally stir like this. We don't want them to burn at the bottom. After that, I got some anchovy soaked with just plain water, warm water. That's our stock. Beautiful, look at that. And we're gonna let the curry bring up to a simmer. Right now I'm deglaze the curry in the pan. We don't want to get burned because we have some rice in there. We have brown rice in there. And occasionally I'm gonna give them a stir like this. So we're just gonna let them bring up to a simmer. You can cover up or just like this, fine. So while the curry bring up to a simmer, I got this firm tofu, lemon, cilantro, and I have a cooked rotisserie chicken. I just got it from the Kroger grocery store. That, uh, uh, just cut it in half like this, and then spread out the bone. And then here we're just gonna give them a quick chop like this. Some strain, take it out. And then here, there's a joint right here. Give them a quick chop. Oh, this is so good. 
nicely done. The bone and the skin, those are delicacy. They will give the curry another level of flavor. Like this. If there's too much foam, you can skim out a little bit. It's okay. Just a little bit. We don't want to take away all the flavor and the hot oil and the curry, everything. So now, bring it up to the simmer, we're just going to add the chicken in. This is like one big giant pot meal. And then the tofu in. This is a firm tofu. Gentle stir. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Woo! Wow. It's gonna be so delicious. So healthy for you. Let them cook, baby. It's been cooking for 15 minutes. I think it's a good time to give the curry a try. Wow! As I say, the anchovy and the roasted chicken, all the vegetable and all the herb combined. You see this red color? Actually from the red chili and the red curry paste plus other spices. It's gonna be so delicious. The only thing I need to add is the sugar. Brown sugar or sugar cane or palm sugar. For me here, I probably think two tablespoons will be good enough. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! It's gonna be so good. It's good to dip with bread. Or if you want to make some pasta, or vermicelli, or mud bean noodle, any kind of noodle will be great too. But I got some brown rice here. So I'm gonna cook this as a meal. My kids gonna love it. Probably another 10-15 minutes will be good. Slowly cook, slow heat. Even like this, a little bit too high. Turn it down a little bit. Give them another try. I bet you spot on. I know my spice as well. Oh, yes. Wow. Delicious. All right, we're going to let them cook. Slow cook to extract the flavor. And once in a while, you put your spatula all the way down to the bottom. Make sure there's nothing at the bottom of the pan. It's supposed to be smooth, you know? Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. My kids not even know there's okra. Okra, okra, but it's really good anyway. It's good for curry. I'm good for stir fry too. Okay. I'm gonna add some cilantro in and some lime juice. And then lemon juice. That's all I have. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dip this curry with bread. Give them a quick stir. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you can smell from here. The curry will taste better the next day. So this we're gonna split into like two meal or snack. Every time I eat curry, the next day I feel great. I don't know why. Must be the healthy herb here.
and you can use like eggplant, other vegetable, butter squash, potatoes. Those are good recipe for curry. You see how beautiful that is? The firm tofu actually can cook for a long time. It's a lot of flavor right now. And the rotisserie chicken have beautiful curry in there and we cook it with low heat so they're not uh, over like tough cook on the chicken and every vegetable soup blend it perfectly that's how you cook curry and that layer of red the color and you think is oil but don't worry about it there's flavor they give you a lot of flavor if that's too much you can skim some out but don't take away too much here we go I hope you like the video I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. Keep cooking. Bye.